it's it's an interesting <laughs> dynamic. The, the the Trump campaign and Donald Trump has always demonstrated, I think, what the psychiatrists call projection, which is whatever they're doing. They immediately accuse everyone else of doing, and actually, someone else that does the same thing as Barack Obama. It, it is a pattern of leftists, and and so, uh, you know, Donald Trump calls everybody a liar. You notice that that everyone in the race is a liar. He loves doing that, and, and yet Donald can say three different things in the course of the day, each of which is contradictory to the thing he had just said previously. Uh, when it comes to to the tactics in this campaign, I will say it is very very troubling. To see Donald Trump and his campaign inciting violence and threatening the voters, that, that has no place in politics. You know, Roger Stone, who, who is Donald Trump's chief political advisor, was threatening any delegate at the convention who dares to cross Trump. They will publicize the room number of the hotel they're in so that they can go and be threatened and intimidated. I mean, those are the behaviors of, of, of thuggish Democratic Union bosses. That should not be the behavior of a presidential campaign. I, I spoke today, Dana, to, to, to the chairman of, of the Republican Party in Colorado. The, the Trump supporters put out his personal information. He, he's had thousands upon thousands of calls. He's had death threats. And the Trump supporters are encouraging people to come to his house and bring a gun. I mean, that has no business in politics, and, and, and Donald seems to think he's Michael Corleone, that, that, that if any voter, if any delegate doesn't support Donald Trump, then he's just going to bully him and threaten him. You know, I don't know if, if the next thing we're going to see is, is voters or delegates waking up with horses' heads in their bed. But that doesn't belong in the electoral process, and, and, and I think Donald needs to renounce this incitement of violence, he needs to stop asking his supporters at rally to punch protesters in the face, and he needs to fire the people responsible. He needs to denounce Manafort and Roger Stone and his campaign team that is encouraging violence, and he needs to stop doing it himself. When, when Donald Trump himself stands up and says, if I'm not the nominee, there will be rioting in the streets. Well, you know what? Saul Alinsky was laughing in his grave watching Donald Trump incite violence that has no business in our democracy.